Thank you to everyone who has been listening to each of the Dandy Dozen Mini Podcasts and who has been reading the Dandy Dozen articles in the print edition of the Northwest Florida Daily News and online at nwfdailynews.com. We're going to keep having Dandy Dozen articles and keep having Dandy Dozen Mini Podcasts all the way until August 28th, which is the first full schedule of high school football and also the day the Northwest Florida Daily News is releasing its high school football season preview section. Before we get to the episode, I wanted to mention a diamond and gold exchange. They are a sponsor in the Northwest Florida Daily News high school football season preview section. They do professional engravings on site. They can do trophies, plaques, corporate awards, whatever you need. They are located at 13 Northeast Eglin Parkway in Hollywood Boulevard here in Fort Walton Beach. The phone number is 850-243-3900. I've seen their work. It's really, really, really good. Go to a diamond and gold exchange. It's right here in Fort Walton Beach. So, again, check them out at 13 Northeast England Parkway and Hollywood Boulevard. I'm sure that they can make whatever you need for any of your trophies, plaques, whatever you need. They can make it happen. All right, Devin Golden, sports writer with the Northwest Florida Daily News. Here doing the Dandy Dozen mini podcast, and I got Crestview senior Marquise McLean. Um, first off, congratulations, Marquise, for being a Dandy Dozen selectee. Thank you. Um, Auburn commit, right. just recently an Auburn commit, yes. and I wanted to ask you first off, we'll start there, um, how, I mean, I imagine it was pretty difficult, was that, a, was that a difficult decision, how much, you know, how much do you have to think about it before you kind of land on something, I mean, how much time do you take? Um, well, the decision, it, it took a while, because uh, when I got the, uh, when I got the offer, my parents, they were like, well... Well, they, they thought it was a great place for me to go, and they was like, well, just just think about it because it's not our decision. It's your decision. So I thought up about it for like a good – about a month. And then I, when I took my unofficial visit, um, I stayed there for three days, and I made my decision that second day. Recruiting really picked up for you this summer. When did the offers and, and the visits and the letters really start rolling in? Um, I would say after the uh, – during the spring, I got I ended up getting. After it was it was when I got the Mississippi State offer, um, and I got and the next day I got four offers that next day. Really? Yeah. Do you think that they're all like in communication? That someone's like, oh, they all someone offered him. We gotta start offering. Well, they had came to the school and one and like one, and one um one school in South Florida. They said they were gonna offer me. And as soon as Mississippi State offered it, Louisiana, Lafayette, um, South Florida, South Alabama, and Troy all offered me the same day. Really? Yeah. You think the more offers are coming? I think so. I think so. Yeah, I would imagine so. Maybe Florida. Florida is that the one you expect possibly next? I yeah. got you. In Georgia. In Georgia, I got you. Um, let's talk about about Crestview heading into this season. Describe, you know, how you think people think of Crestview. People outside the program think of Crestview entering the 2015 season. What um, what what do you think is kind of the maybe the you know the the calling card? Entering this year, do you do you see you know a favorite, a sleeper, an X factor in the in the district? How do you see it? Uh, well, people looking at us, they think. I think if they get the perception that we uh, the the way we put on last year, uh, we didn't do so good. So I think we're going to surprise a lot of people this year. And um, this Christmas, we're a lot we're a lot smarter. Uh, we had a lot of, we had better leaders this year. A lot the seniors stepped up being uh, being a leader this year. Really. How about you? What's what's different for you that from last year to this year? Uh, more confidence, um, going into the game knowing what I can do. And um, did it take last year having some success to have that to re- to to finally hit that stride? I mean, what what about you know? Was it just maybe you go into the into the game last year? You're not you're unsure of yourself. You you make a few catches. You get you know you get into the end zone, and then suddenly you kind of you're more sure of yourself. I really didn't get the ball like I wanted to last year, but. This spring, I had a great spring, and um, and it boosted my confidence, and it showed it showed my coaches and and everybody else what I really could do. You and Rusty played quarterback. I mean, I'm sorry, played basketball mm-hmm. this you know last winter in the in the season. He's going to be, I guess, the starting quarterback for you guys this year, this fall, correct? Right. How much does does chemistry like that? I mean, you know, how much does that carry over? Uh, it carries a lot because um, we stay after practice and we come during the weekends to come through. Really, and work on, and work on different. I mean, you, things. you're just running routes. He's throwing to you, whatever. And we come. Work, we work on different things on on how to beat a defender and 
we got we, we have a lot of chemistry. We even play basketball together, and so we can get that chemistry together when basketball season comes. Really? How good do you think Rusty Moore could be this year? I think I think he could be really good. Um, he's one of the smartest quarterbacks in this area by far. Really? I think. Really. Last question for you: What does it mean to you to be? A dandy dozen selectee. What does it mean to you? To, you know, you, again, you've had a great summer. Right. You know, you get the offers, you commit to Auburn, you're selected for the dandy dozen, which has been around for you know decades, uh, and you're representing Crestview on the dandy dozen list. You know, has it been kind of a whirlwind of a summer? And, and does that get a little a little overwhelming for for a high school kid, a teenager? Um, no, I, it's just an honor because I think all my work is, is, is finally paying off. So and I'm happy for it. Really. What type of personality do you have in the locker room? Are you are you someone who gets really loud? You're you know you're in faces pregame, or are you kind of to yourself? Nah, I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a chill guy in the locker room. Really? Yeah. Who I mean, who, who is the up, the upbeat in the face slam? Well, last the... <laughs> last year we had two guys, Jaquan Daniels and um, Amp Seals. We had really? those two. But this year, um, this year we really don't have that type of person now. Everybody's kind of chill before the game. Really? Um, but. I, I guess when we get on the field, I'm I'm, I'm a hype guy. Really, we get everybody hyped. So you're on the on the sideline, you're you're in faces. Yeah. You know, if someone's not doing their job, you're the one who's yelling. Yeah. Is there? Do you have like a, a playlist or a song or something that you listen to pregame? Anything, whatever it could be, that um, that gets you in the mood for football. You know, the hard hitting atmosphere of football. Uh, one song I always listen to. I listen to well, two songs. Uh, no tears. Who's that who, by? I forgot who's by. Well, I listen to No Tears. I listen to um, Go Get It by T.I. Really? Uh, T.I. is a good one. I like T.I. Yeah. Um, do you have a, a pregame meal or anything, like any sort of ritual that you do every, you know? Not really, nah. Really? Besides, besides you know, pray. Really? When, at what point is does does that happen, I guess, prayer? I, mean, I know uh, that that's a very personal thing. Mm-hmm. It's very private. Is it is that locker room or is that on the field? No, it's on the field right before, right before we get on the field. Really? Do you yeah. have anyone that you do it with? Does anyone do it with you? Um, Antrion. Really? Blossom, really? Number 25, yeah. Is that kind of calming? I mean, you get so hyped, you get up here, you know, you run onto the field, you, you see the atmosphere, and then, you know, you remember, does it kind of give you a calming sense, but in a kind of a balance? Yeah. Yeah, it calms me down and get my mind ready, actually. Really? What, what should we, you know, last question, what should we, you know, as football fans in this area, expect from Marquise McClain? Um, in one sentence. <laughs> That's kind of tough, huh? It can be stats. It can be it can be something general. It can be a team com- uh, accomplishment. Whatever. I think it's going to be stats. Um, my goal my goal is is ten touchdowns. Have you said this beforehand? Yeah, I, really? I, I said this um, yesterday coming from Alabama. Really? I was driving and uh, my goal is ten touchdowns, six receptions a game. Uh, and my goal, my ultimate goal is to be an All-American, but that's going to be determined between me and Rusty. You said you're coming from Alabama. Were you actually making a visit up to Alabama? No, I was at my grandma's. Oh, you're at your grandma's. I was about yeah. to say, I was just say that could be some recruiting news <laughs> right there. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Congratulations. Um, and and again, you know, I'll be I'll be watching. I think every fan will be watching. And again, congratulations for being Danny Dozen. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, man.